Hello, hi, come on in, welcome to our flat. Hello everybody, welcome to our flat tour. This is something I've really wanted to film for the longest time and we've lived in this flat a year now and we love it, we absolutely love it and it's a very highly requested video. A lot of people do ask, can you film a flat tour? And we said, yes, absolutely. You pretty much seen the whole flat as it is because obviously with what's going on at the minute, we've been here a lot, but I thought it'd be nice to just put it in a whole cohesive video so you can see where we live and what it looks like. And I'm very excited about it. So we live in a two bedroom flat that is situated in South London and we absolutely love it. It's a, I think it was built in the 1950s. It's like a 50s style purpose block flat um, with some amazing, amazing features. We absolutely love it. When I first viewed this property, I fell in love with it because it's just got so much character. So I thought I'd show you around. So welcome, we do rent, this isn't ours, so it's by no means to our taste, but we've done the best with what we can. So, you are now in our hallway. This is our hallway, we love it. It gets a lot of natural light. If you can see on this side of this wall, we've got a huge panel of glass features, which we absolutely love. It's like, it's like Art Deco style glass. Um, something that we loved about the property, it's in a lot of the properties around this period and we just love it. So that was the main selling point for us. So it's like, yes, 100% love that and it lets so much natural light through into the hallway, which is where we are now. And um, yeah, this was a space that we absolutely loved again when we first moved in. It's just fully utilized. We've got a little side console table here, a fig plant. We've just made a lovely little space of it. We always drop our keys here as well so we never leave without keys, which is something I always do. Um, so yeah, this is great. If you want to see more in depth of where everything's from, just leave me a comment and I'll tell you. But um, yeah, love this space. Then to the left, we've just, to the right, sorry, we've just got our cupboard, which is absolutely jam packed, as you can see, full of my coats. <laughs> uh, bags when we go shopping, suitcases, workout mats. It's just bulb. It's full. It's very full. The tree skirt. It is. Oh yes, the tree skirt as well for we buy our Christmas tree. So um, yeah, this is our hallway. It's definitely not massive, but it works. Okay, so that is the hallway, and then we're gonna go into the living room. So come on in, come on in. The light might be a bit weird because it's backlit, but come on through. So our living room is a living room diner, and that's kind of like typical of the property style period that we have within London. A lot of places are multifunctional, and ours is. And obviously with what's going on as well, we're working from home now. So this is our dining space, slash office, slash where we eat, work. Pretty much this space is where we spend a lot of our time. Um, so yeah, this is our dining room. We absolutely love it. Chairs, table, all that good stuff is just... Um, yeah, it's pretty box standard, but we absolutely love it. And again, you can see the glass coming through the side as well, which is wicked. And then this is our entertainment space. <laughs> so this area I absolutely love. It was a space that we didn't really know what to do with when we first moved. And this is our entertainment area. So we've got our bar cart, we've got our gin glasses, a plethora of alcohol, whiskeys, gins. It's just, yeah, whenever someone comes around, we offer them a drink. Oh. Wow. I haven't already had a drink, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, and then this is our little armchair, our little reading nook. We've got a lovely angle poised lamp here. And yeah, we love this. This armchair was actually a gift from Zara's auntie and uncle because they were renovating their house and said, do you guys want this armchair? We said, yes. We love it, it's absolutely awesome. Um, a lot of furniture in this property is actually second hand. Things that we found from vintage stores, things that we've either DIY'd ourselves. We were a big believer in that, we just love creating life to all pieces. So yeah, this is our little reading nook. Fireplace, we absolutely love this fireplace. It's sadly not active because it's just in a flat, so you obviously can't have a working fire, but we love it and we've just added some like logs and things like that to make it look kind of a bit more cozy, a bit more homely. Mirrors, antique, it's just all lovely. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love it, really nice. Again, we will leave the color of the wall, we painted the walls, we are red, but we'll paint them white when we leave. We'll leave all of those details down below. And then this is our living room area. So this is kind of like how we work things out in terms of space. We didn't used to have it like this when we first moved in, but we thought it would make better sense to kind of section off the living room and the dining room. So dining's over there, living's here. Um, so we've got a chest field here, this is second hand. We've got this in a vintage furniture store in South London. Again, love it, it's battered, but we absolutely love it. It's super cozy and it's definitely coming with us when we move because I absolutely love it. Um, we've got our TV, our little console table here that we love. And then this is our secondary sofa space. This is where we spend the majority of our time, to be fair. Um, yeah, super cozy. This was from Zara's auntie and uncle as well. They were giving this away, so we said yes, 100%. 
scaffolding shelves. I made this from my stepdad. He works at a construction site, so he gave us one of these boards. We love it. So yeah, this is like our space. We've got our cheese plant going here. These are some like wicker baskets that we keep our throws in. Everything just works, and it's got beautiful, beautiful south-facing light, so we just get some lovely, lovely light coming through. So this is our living room. It's kind of cool. It's not massive. In fact, it actually, do you know what? For the size of what we pay, it's pretty big. And we love it. We absolutely love it. This is where we spend the majority of our time. But yeah, come on through, and we'll take you into the bedrooms. Okay, so when you come through the hallway, the first bedroom you come into is Zara's bedroom. And you guys might have seen a video recently where we transformed this room a little bit. Zara painted her wall this most beautiful sage green colour. Absolutely love it. The shelves we DIY'd as well out of um, some pieces of wood. The wardrobes we've just recently renovated as well. Well, not renovated, we built. <laughs> so we've got two wardrobes going on. This mirror we actually found on a street. Everything kind of has like a purpose and we love it but yeah this is ours like getting ready station it's ours bed area again this room is the larger of the two bedrooms and by like a fraction it's literally so such a small difference but it just gets the most amazing light on a morning and then you'll see the second bedroom we get light in the evening and this is ours like desk area where she gets ready on a morning where she makes herself more beautiful um, and then the little tv area you don't really use this so much do you no because we're usually in there we are we are but it's kind of nice we've got like it's nice for a morning yeah yeah exactly a little drawer tv area going on but yeah, this is Zara's bedroom. It's beautiful. It's very, very clean and minimal, but that's like our vibe and we love it. So yeah, this is our space, a little mirror. Oh. Um, so yeah, this is the larger of the two bedrooms. Then you come on through. This is into like a secondary hallway. So if you guys can see, it's pretty spacious in terms of flat. It's something that when I first viewed it, I thought, this is great. This is such a good space. So yeah, hallway leads onto the kitchen, shower room, toilet, bathroom. But then if you come through this way, you guys will recognise this space because this is my bedroom. Yeah. So you guys can see, I don't really get the morning light, but I get the evening light. So I get the sunset in this room, which is really nice. But um, yeah, this is my space. Again, really, really decent sized bedroom. Double bedroom uh, with a double bed going on. Absolutely love this bed. The wall colour again, I will leave in the description box if you guys want to see that. Um, wardrobes are just, you know, I'd love some built-in wardrobes, but as we are renting, it doesn't really work. Um, these are all IKEA pieces, actually, and we love it. But yeah, this is just my space. You guys have seen this a hundred times before. You know the jam, you know what this is. But this is my bedroom and office. So this is like my sleeping, getting ready area. And then if you just rotate with me, this is my desk setup. So this isn't where I have been working because as Zara's been working from home, I've been taking my computer into the living room. So this is my desk area. I absolutely love this desk I've had for years. It's from Wayfair. Um, yeah, just awesome. I absolutely love this space. It's really nice. Again, scaffolding shelf from my stepdad. Love having greenery, although this is slightly dead. <laughs> we'll make this work. It's fine. But yeah, this is my workspace. Ideally, you wouldn't have an office in your bedroom, but We've got a new do. So yeah, this is my bedroom. I love it. Very cozy. It's coming through to the rest of the flat. Okay. So the layout of this flat's kind of weird in the sense that we have a shower room, a bathroom, and a toilet all separate, which is handy because me and Zara can get ready at the same time. Saves all much time. Um, this is what I call the chalky. <laughs> if you've ever seen Matilda, it's kind of like where people get put in. It's very weird. It's a very modest shower. Oh, can you turn it on? There we go. So this is a shower room. Again, it's not the most aesthetically beautiful thing, oh. but it's a shower room. And it works. It's great. It's got a little floor mat in there, a little self-contained basin. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is really good in terms of having the extra shower because it's not very typical of a property that's only a two bed to have two showers, which is great. Then you're coming through the hallway. This is our down, our downstairs toilet. This is our toilet. Not very exciting. It's a toilet. It does the job. <laughs> We've got some prints going on in there. And then this is the bathroom. You guys have seen this as well when we do our clean with me. It's a really good sized bathroom. We've got a bath with a built-in shower, which is brilliant. It's got some storage and a basin. And that's it. This is our bathroom. It's not massive again, but I think it's a fairly decent size. This is where I get ready on the morning just because it's bigger and I'm six foot one. So I need the space. Good high ceilings. Again, lovely light. And we just love it, we absolutely love it. So yeah, this is the bathroom. Right, so that's the bathroom, and then you're coming back through the hallway, and then you lead into the kitchen. Not my favorite room in the flat, but my room I spend a lot of time in because you guys know I love my food. So this is our kitchen space. It's a very, very decent sized kitchen for what we actually have. It's, it's brilliant, it's absolutely fantastic. So this is kind of like the primary storage area of our kitchen. I think these are IKEA kitchen units. Again, not really to our taste, but we've got to work with what we have. 
Um, yeah, I'm always fully stocked. <laughs> we like our food. As you can see, I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs when they show the fridges. <laughs> um, yeah, bacon cupboard, spice cupboard, a lot of wine. <laughs> this is actually a birthday present. It's my birthday tomorrow when I'm filming this. So um, many bottles of wine will be getting consumed. We've got like, the KitchenAid. This is like our drinks area. So we've got our blender for our smoothies, coffee machine, fruit bowl. It's great. This is like the bin area. Not that great, but we're not going to show that. Fridge, always full, always good. We've got like drinks and stuff going on up there. Cookbooks, that kind of jam. This is like the cooking area of the kitchen. We've got all of our pasta up there. Our oven and gas hob. Love that we have a gas hob. Rate gas highly. So yeah, it's great because it's kind of like sectioned out in this kitchen. Where we lived before, it was tiny. So we were always cooking on top of each other. Whereas here, someone can be cooking, someone can be chopping, someone can be prepping. So it's a fairly decent sized kitchen. And then this is another part of the kitchen, so we've got our washer. If you're American, this might be a bit weird. Why do you have your washer in your kitchen? It's just how it is here. We don't have a dishwasher and we don't have a tumble dryer, so it's not that great, but it's fine. Um, so here we've got a coffee machine, bread bin, toaster, kettle. This is where we keep all of our mugs. Don't know if this is interesting, but we're just going to show you anyway. We have a cold cupboard dedicated to tea and coffee. I'm not joking. We love tea and we love coffee. I'm a coffee guy. Sorry, the tea guy, although she just goes. Guy. Guy. <laughs> Sorry, the tea girl. Um, although she just go for Yorkshire tea, these are like my spiced, very fancy teas. Um, and then this is our sink area. Not that glamorous, but it is what it is. We've got some plants, although it's not really looking like it's best. We are neglecting the plants. But um, yeah, this is it. Oh, also, this is a full wall of storage, which is so handy. This is where we keep our vacuum cleaner, iron. Uh, picnic bags, dustpan and brush, coffee, recycling things, iron board. Um, this is our boiler, which is not very interesting. And then underneath, and this is just like more storage, I guess. We have a lot of stuff. And then onto the balcony, which you guys have seen a lot, but we're going to include it anyway. So this, you come out the back door, and this is our balcony space. You guys have seen it absolutely 100 times over, but we love it. We've just made a such a nice space out here. It's very green. It's very calm and it's our little space of heaven. And, but um, yeah, we love it. It's really, really a nice space that we've we've made home and we've made the best out of it. It is a fire escape, so it's active, it works. Um, yeah, it's lovely. We just like to sit out here with a glass of wine, chill, relax, take in the sun whenever London decides to short. And we just love it. It's very green, it's very alive. I think we just made the best out of a small space, which we love. And if you haven't seen the balcony transformation video, I'll link it down below. It's what put us on the map. <laughs> right, let's head on back in. So that is our flat. It's a two bed, two bath apartment. And like I said, we are renting in London. So if you found that useful, and maybe if you have any tips or if you want any um, tricks of like renting in London, do let me know in the comments down below as well. I will also be linking all of the videos where we moved in, where we painted, where we did Zara's bedroom, my bedroom, the balcony, transform the living room, all that good stuff will be linked down below. So you can go back and find out all of the details of how we did that. Anything you want to know of um, furniture-wise, where I've got it, I will link it down below as well, to the best of my ability. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as always, do click that thumbs up button, and don't forget to click subscribe as well. It's an absolute pleasure to have you join and watch along, and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.